Hello, Sagittarius. It is time for your... Oh my god, my nose. Sorry. Uh, Mid-September to the beginning of the October reading for this current year, 2019. Hooray and welcome. Um, before you begin, thank you to everybody who views, subscribes, gets personal readings from me. Greatly appreciate it, you know? You guys make this shit so much fun, after all. Sagittarius, now we're getting on to business, of course. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. This resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game, after all. If you don't believe it, it might not work. Just boop your nose and away we goes, right? Right. For any newcomers, if you want a personal reading after this, my information is in the description box below. First readings on the house and I do take tips and donations if you want to. Thank you very kindly. All right, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on with you guys. Cause like, I don't know, there's always somebody just like, Mm -hmm. You guys go on these weird adventures and then just pick up strangers. And then it's like, it becomes a weird-ass adventure that you weren't asking for, but you like the experience sometimes. Oh, uh, there might be a water sign that might be pissed. Might be. Or that's you, all in your feelings and just acting like, you know, like... Hmm. Like, you got hurt too much and now you just don't want to open up anymore. Because you just want to end all conflicts. You don't even want to battle. It's just like, it's not worth it, man. No. You know, like, it's just too much for you sometimes, right? Your thoughts and feelings, you don't feel like waiting for anything anymore. Like, three of wands reversed right here. You're not in that energy. Um, the root of this is because you wanted to start a new cycle. You know, start fresh somewhere. Now, we do have the seven of swords. Princess of Wands, you might be wanting to travel. But I feel like that requires getting rid of a lot of this baggage with the Seven of Swords, right? It's just like you're dragging it along. But you want to. But the Princess of Wands travels light, so it's like, why are you bringing shit with you if you're trying to go somewhere? You know? Um, yeah. It's like fix that shit or like figure out something because it's overburdening you a little bit too much, you know? I'm pretty sure this is gonna be a loud one. Okay. That wasn't as bad as what I thought it'd be. But yeah, it's kind of like I don't. That's weird. It's like, why are you carrying all this baggage around if you're trying to travel quickly? You know? Princess of Pentacles! Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus type of energy. That's your vibration. Sagittarius, I can lay that right there. There's space because I cleaned off my table. Yay. Let's see. Like, there's a pregnant, um, possibility. There's something that, like, could definitely be birthed. Um, strong potential could also be how you deal with people, how you get together with folks, shit like that, right? The Sagittarius, I feel like you're having more problems with just, like, dealing with your own self than anything else. Or just with taking actions in certain things. Like, you got too much shit on your mind with the Seven of Swords. Let's see, this Princess of Cups right here. Could be a, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio type. Um, doesn't want to open up. I feel like they don't know how. Or there's something that they aren't aware of. It could be you as well, right? It's like someone isn't aware of like a knowledge or an insight or something about why they won't uh, express themselves. Um, not properly. But that feels like the best word to describe it. But I don't. But it's not like it. it it's not like you don't know how. It's kind of like um. Like, letting your emotions get to you too quick, you know? And it's like, you don't have the knowledge and insight, or this person doesn't. And then they get all mad and shit and want to say harsh stuff. You know, there's the King of Swords right here. And then, like, they become Knight of Cups, where their spell of binding and charisma, charisma um, tendencies do not work. It is not there. They just kind of, like, lose their composure once they, like, kind of feel like they don't have control of the situation a little bit. Also, cross watchers switch where necessary. Take what's yours and leave the rest with a pound of salt. Okay? 
Okay. Five of Wands right here. It's reversed. It's like trying to end conflict. Trying to get out of that petty action right here. You don't want to be trapped or confined in this anymore. You want it as far away from you as possible. Like, it feels so distant and ether. But it's like, it's a trap! You know? Hmm. Could be with a Capricorn. You don't want to feel trapped with a Capricorn you're distant from? Because it is the devil. Um, this could also be a slight obsession as well, Sagittarius. Or, you created some distance in order to get out of that trap. It could be either or, depending on how you want to look at it, really. Alright, this Princess of Cups up here. Ooh, you get two. You get two. I actually had to cut back on these because they were, like, causing me to lose a lot of focus. The other one, other readings, um, have more cards, but I, then I was just like, you know, I need to cut this back and just give it a summary. Um. Truth is, you probably kind of lost your temper. Just a little, just, just enough. Just enough. It was like the truth. Either that or some truth was presented to you and it just, it got right under your skin. You know, that, like, that's what I was kind of, yeah, okay, that was what I was saying with the Princess of Cups. It's like someone doesn't know how to express themselves properly. And I feel like this is somebody, Sagittarius, who, um, it's not in what they say, it's how they say it. And I think somebody said to you something that was true, but they did it in a manner in order to hurt you a lot like you have been in the past. They just laid something out there and then acted like it was just your problem. Instead of understanding that maybe they should have like used that truth to help you instead of expecting you to do it on your own. This five of wands energy right here uh the person who's trying to come out of all this fighting or whatever is uh left out in the cold you know um the door has been closed on them i think you slammed the door on somebody sag that's what it's looking like to me like someone like you have been dealing with somebody who is um it was like, what, what was that one reading? It was like they were mad because, like, you didn't commit, but they didn't want to commit to you. You know, like, they were just sitting there, like, I think taking advantage of your feelings, and now it's almost like... They came back with some smack talk, and now the door's been closed. And now they feel sad because they're all out there, and there's distance and shit. Alright, thoughts and feelings. Three of Wands, you're not waiting for nothing. Not a damn thing. Nope, you're not waiting for a relationship. At least not with this person anyway, I feel like. You are standing tall. You are preserving. You will endure. Because, you know, you're just really, really pissed. You're, you're generally just pissed. You are pissed. You're not waiting for this person. They got on your nerves. You're doing that whole, like, hard-headed thing where, like, once someone pisses you off, you know, like... If a bitch has got beef with me, she's got beef with me forever. That's the, you know, that's the energy you're kind of carrying right now. You don't even want to try to come together with infusion or chemistry with the person you were dealing with, I feel like. The root of that is the world down here. You want to start a new cycle of sorts. It feels like it's a wish that might not be... I feel like you're afraid of the wish, though. Like I said, there's magnetism and lore over here, and I could be part of this wish as well. But, you know, someone's got a mouth. It could be you. It could be your other person. You decide who it is. Right? Someone's got a mouth. And someone knows how to throw somebody off kilter with uh, knowing shit or being able to heal themselves with a the shaman and enchanter. They might have lost their mind and became like a warlock for a second. Queen of Cups, right? Um left a mystery about what options to really take like you don't really know what's behind the doors and now someone's just like you know what i'm getting over this past situation i'm done being like the wide-eyed bird who looks like i'm terrified for nothing you know but i think you're scared of this 
too. I think you realize that this wish was like not so. It's like you made a wish and you got exactly what you wanted, but then it was like. Okay, I don't think I asked for all this additional bullshit. You know, I only asked for a specific thing. Where did all the rest of this come from? Like, I did not ask for the extended version of Lord of the Rings. I only have so much time in my week. You know, one of those things, right, where you just weren't expecting it. Let's see. I'm sorry, I'm like Sag Rising, so like this is actually kind of like hitting home for me for a little bit. Yeah, this is Lunacy and Delusion. Oh my god, okay. Like, I know somebody right now, and it is kind of hitting home for me because it's just like I'm, I'm kind of dealing with this person a little bit. It is just like, I just met you. Like, why? Okay, let's see. And victory! Okay. The wish you made originally, yeah, okay, yeah. The wish you made initially drove you insane because you thought it would be, you thought it was a win, you thought it was a victory, you thought, oh, this is exactly what I was looking for, which was, you just didn't know that it came with conditions and terms of service. And some PowerPoint classes you have to take in order to, like, keep coming back to work or some shit, you know? It's just like, ah! Let's see. Princess of Pentacles, the vibration, there's a potential offer here. Right? There is potentiality. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like someone can manifest that, right? The magician, the, the magician tried, and it didn't work, but it did bring up some realization and fruitation in this, with the Three of Cups. Where someone was a naughty little spy, and was probably talking some shit, apparently. Page of Swords. Doors closed. Makes sense. Like, this was a good offer till somebody, like, started acting a certain way. Or behaved a certain manner. Or, or was just doing something all around that was Jake as fuck. <clears throat> like, this offer would have been manifested, but it was like, the magician fucked it up. And then someone came to some realization that, like, someone was acting like a... Like a flying monkey, or there were flying monkeys, like smear campaigns, shit like that. Up here with the Three of Wands reverse. You're not waiting, but you would kind of like a love proposal. You know, just to be like, do I even matter? And down here with the world where everything's starting new, where like, I feel like you really thought this wish was a victory, but you know, it, it happens, man. Because I really think that you were wishing for someone or something. And you thought this was the one, but that was all illusion. That was all lies. That was all deceit in order to make you feel like you've won something. And now the Wheel of Fortune, which is driven by your energy, is coming into play. So, you are moving things forward, whether you want to or not. Let's see. Princess of Pentacles. What up with it? Let's see. This shit you found did not make you happy. Like, even though it was a great potential, even though something could have happened, someone was just... I, 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 like, I don't know if it's an air sign or whatever, but I feel like someone just went out of their way was either saying or talking some shit, and that just caught your attention. And it was just like, oh, okay, well, if that's how you fucking feel, like, I guess you're going to just go that way, aren't you? You know, just, like, it was just like, it was like a flip of the switch, I think. Like, the magician didn't manifest anything good, because, like, what's this other card? Mmm. It's like someone figured out that like what they manifested was not what they thought it was. This is like a snoop, a spy. Someone who goes out to look for shitty things to say or mention or do. And then like that brought the unhappiness when it came to this potential offer somebody else was giving you. Could potentially be an earth sign, right? But I feel like this person right here, whatever this potential is, whatever that vibration is, it's like you're coming into an understanding that... um. Whoever it was you're dealing with never once gave a fuck about you, I feel like. 
Like they smacked you with the truth and then left you. You know? like they, It's like they didn't even give a shit that they hurt you. Hmm. Two seconds. I forgot to write Scorpio's title down. Fuck, and now I don't remember what Scorpio was. Fuck it, I'll get it later. I'll watch it. Anyway! Seven of Swords! It's like you're dragging around some baggage, right? Just the hurt this person left. Kept you in misery and torment for a minute, right? And now you gotta find a way of getting over all this grief and pain. In order to not feel dazed and confused anymore, man. Like, you want to be able to let your guard down when it comes to the next love proposal, I think, that you want to find. Just remember, like, no matter what happens, you can always drive forward. Like, you are the Wheel of Fortune, energetically wise, anyway. But I feel like you need to drop all that shit. Just a little bit, you know? Like, it feels like, um... You're dragging it around... Like, you're... Almost expecting... To be able to carry it for an unlimited amount of time. Like, you know, it's not carryover minutes. It, all, it just keeps building. It doesn't, it like... Mmm. All right, Princess of Wands right here. She wants to travel in order to get out of this black and clouded state of mind with the Ten of Swords. Ooh, she wants to get her fulfillment. But she's not listening to her intuition. And I would tell you, you know, um, you need to drop that baggage and shit. Because it's not very helpful, I don't think. Three of Pentacles. What do you need to work on, my darlings? Like, it's almost like you're putting up a performance, too, for people to watch you. Um, like, you're balanced and poised. And which is actually helping you out to get evolved and transcend. Ah, uh ah. -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> Stress, confusion, and that's what you're trying to basically get out of up here. Zaj, I think you need to chill because I think you're like giving yourself like, I don't know, anxiety. Like really, it feels like you're giving yourself anxiety really bad. Like what if I don't do it perfectly this way? No, it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. Like, you know, that's the beauty of life. You just get to see what the fuck happens, you know? Don't be too worried about whether or not shit works out. Just enjoy it. But I feel like you're giving yourself, like, stress panic attacks. Because, like, you're just like, I will find balance. I will transcend and evolve. But then, like, as soon as you start, like, really getting into it, like, your brain runs on high. And then you just confuse yourself. It's like... It's like a Pokemon that gets confused and then hits itself. Like, it's super effective, but you're doing it to yourself just a little bit, I feel like. Which I'll kind of agree with on my own. Ah, we got the King of the... We got the Emperor up here, and I think the King of Swords is out somewhere. Yeah, he is. So someone was a douchebag when it came to this. All this baggage with this other person? Definitely a douchebag. Control freak. Um... And wanted things their way, like I said. And I think that they took that out on you a little bit. Okay. Princess of Wands, you know. You gotta let this go in order to be Princess of Wands. I'm just saying that. You gotta let the baggage go with, like... Dick McGreedy up here. And just, like, go. Be free, you know, because you are wasting your time with the hangman reverse. Like, you can't transcend if you're just hanging out here, just contemplating stuff, thinking about getting away, but not actually, like, listening to your intuition when it comes to that. Like, and I kind of understand that, because sometimes, you know, like, when I get excited, I don't know, it's like, I'm like a puppy that never got taught how to calm itself down. It's just like, ah, and then it just goes everywhere, exciting and shit, right? 
But it's like, you guys are just you're doing too much to yourselves, I feel like. You're stressing yourself out and freaking yourself out all at the same time, you know? Three of Pentacles. Mm. Getting your truth and standing in your truth. Hmm. He's up right here right now. Before, though, he was like, um, reverse, being a dick. It's like he wants to come by while you're performing so well to try to talk to you. No, just no, 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 man. It's cool. Well, like, we've, we've already talked. It was nice talking to you. Like, I hope I get to see you again. Never. You have a good life. Go fuck yourself. Take care. You know, no, no, I, I don't like that. No. Like, <laughs> Oh my god, this is actually, um, I'm actually really resonating with this reading because, you know, I got this going on with me right now. Just someone came up and just was like laying some shit down, just being like, hey, you know what? You're this, this, and this, and it kind of took me back. Like, you know, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay, whatever, like, you feel that way. <laughs> and then they, like, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping that they'll decide to come back. I am anyway. I want to know what they. I want to know what this person's gonna say. But um, you ain't gotta say much to them. Just let them say what they want to say. Don't respond back. Fuck it. Like they can say whatever it is they want to say. You know, like that's this person's like power. I feel like is like um, it's a lot like a Capricorn, right? Like a Capricorn can cut a person down without fucking thinking about it because we study people for so long that we like. We're very strategic. We can watch people and know exactly what their strengths and weaknesses are, and boom. Like, we'll just nail the biggest weakness we see right in front of us, knowing that it's going to make you cry, because we're really good at making people cry, you know? And it's like this person kind of took that, especially with this magnetism and lore, and did that with you. But, it taught you... Not to give a shit about what anyone says. Like, it, it really taught you how not to listen to somebody. Or give a shit about what they think about you, I feel like. Because it's like... They're going to try to come back and say some other truth. And they're going to be upright about it this time. Not reversed. They're going to be upright. But it's like... Does the truth really matter after the shit that... Like, you know, if someone could go out of their way to... Like, you know... If someone could go out of their way to, like, hurt your feelings because they're just annoyed at the fact that they don't have any sort of control over you, which is really what that stems from. Like, you don't just go off on somebody just because, like, you know, they did something, like, naughty or bad or whatever. Like, you know, it's one thing to call somebody out on their bullshit, but if you're, like, literally sitting there, like, telling somebody off about themselves, it's because they got hurt feelings, too. But they want their hurt feelings to affect you the way that they do theirs. That's what I got for you, Sagittarius. Um, if you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, subscribe, if that's what you want to do. That's all up to you, but I'd appreciate you too. Anyway, that's the reading, y'all. I will see you later. Love your faces. Bye-byes.